everyone, my name is Phil and I'm talking to you today from Infinity Innovations and today I want to go through um, dongle connect features. Um, anyone that has experienced any issues connecting the dongles to the Wi-Fi, I want to show you a quick and easy way to actually get around this. A lot of routers out there have um, very sophisticated firmware or software embedded in the actual products and you'll know this, Virgin Media, Sky, BT, to give you a, a few names, now you'll see that when you look at the SSIDs on the routers, they will only have one name. Even though you've got multiple frequencies within the actual routers, there's only one name to connect to and one password. So um, the band steering works in the sense of when you connect to the router, the router then takes charge of how your device is going to be given the signal. Regardless of whether it only works on one signal or not, the router itself will try and change the channels because it thinks that is the best solution, that is the best channel, it's got the least amount of um, uh, traffic or uh, interference, so it's going to try and move it. So what will happen is, and what you will see, um, especially with devices like this, is you may find that they are connected, they'll have all the solid lights, the router then tries to change it to a different channel, it doesn't work, so the dongle then disconnects itself. It will then reattach itself to this, the correct network, which is the 2.4. The router then sees it again and thinks, nah, that's the wrong channel for you, I'm going to move you to the 5. So then it will disconnect again. And so you'll see your dongle connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. And this is the pattern you'll see going through. How we overcome that is by bypassing that particular feature using a mini router. Now this is a device that I bought off Amazon. As you can see with um, the lights at the front, it's telling me with the, the flashing lights it's actually getting a signal from the router. So we've connected it, hardwired it with an Ethernet cable. Now what this little device does, it's not as sophisticated as this particular router, but what it is doing is bypassing the Wi-Fi. So we're no longer trying to make the connection to this, this router, which is this dongle is trying to connect to. It just won't connect. So we're gonna link to the dongle I'm going to show you on the TV screen behind me that's connected to my phone how we do this so you may see if I in fact it's not showing this information but I'm actually connected to the dongle right now so I'll go straight into the little power app dongle connect feature and then it'll show me my dongle but then it'll also show me the actual devices that I can connect to which is all these but obviously the only one I want to connect to is this little fella here. So we're going to pick the GL router, which is what it's named. And then we're going to put in the password. Good life. This is generic with all the routers that come from Amazon on this particular product. And then you click, you connect by doing the home Wi-Fi connect button. Once you send that information across, it will give you a message saying set up successfully, the dongle will restart later. What will happen then is the lights come off the actual dongle uh, where the phone is sending the information remotely to the dongle itself. It then saves and stores that information, processes it and then gets you online. Now you may find the dongle may do this on a numerous amount of times. This is normal behaviour. It takes roughly between 30 seconds and a minute if that is the case, if it's one of the ones that keep restarting itself. But eventually it will connect and it will come online. The only thing that will stop you from doing this would be the actual distance from the router to the dongle and the strength of the signal received. Again, if they have um, Wi-Fi extenders or things like this, connecting them to this device will then overcome that. So if we just give it a few more seconds, you'll find that this will actually connect straight to work. Now, while we're actually waiting for that to come through, I'm just gonna quickly go onto the internet details. There we go, straight away, connected. So it's as simple as that, by just installing one of these products into the back of your main router where we weren't getting a signal before, this is getting a signal directly from the router, this has fixed the problem. So if you have any questions or queries and you want me to share the actual um, link for this that I've got from Amazon, like I say, it was only £30, but it does future-proof you. If you ever change supplier again, or you change your router, this is the best option and the quickest fix rather than try and have to buy a new router, new dongles or different variations to try and connect. Thanks for watching, speak soon.